Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about dreams and decoding dreams because my dreams have been so, so weird lately and so vivid, like I can remember it. And I mean, I've always remembered my dreams since I was a like young child but sometimes dreams become even more weird and even more clear and you know that they're really trying to get your attention and speak to you so we're going to talk about decoding dreams because I do have a previous video on my youtube where I talked about um, why you keep dreaming about an ex which I'm pretty sure was a requested video from my Instagram somebody asked me to film that and I've been getting so many comments on there um, asking for what people's dreams mean and all of this kind of thing and I feel like it's important to discuss the fact that our dreams are metaphors and they are like they're symbols because that's the only way that the subconscious mind can communicate so sometimes it's not literal you might be dreaming about a specific person but it doesn't mean that in your physical reality it's actually referring to that person it could be like their energetic signature maybe the way they carry themselves maybe things that they say maybe it's the kind of like vibe that they give off and the way that you react to that vibe. Like it doesn't necessarily mean that you're meant to be with that specific person or that that specific person needs to be in your life or anything like that. It's a metaphor or it's a like it's a symbolic message because the subconscious mind can't speak through the English language or any kind of language it doesn't know how to communicate that so it shows you through symbols through images or pictures and so when we're in our um, dream state or in the astral realm you see all of these different types of situations happening and that's literally your subconscious mind communicating with you and trying to tell you something about yourself and about your life and for me mine have been very very clear lately and so I thought I would give an example to you of my own dream so that you can begin to understand that your dreams are not literal and that it can be like maybe it will help you decode your own when you hear somebody else decode one so for one of my recent dreams I had and you know how like dreams roll into one, they kind of merge, that happens to me a lot, so I'll, it will start in one scenario and then it will kind of merge into something else which doesn't even make sense why they're like together in the same situation sort of thing, but for this dream it was um, in my back garden but it didn't really look like my back garden, but I could tell it was my back garden, like the energy of it, I could feel it and um, different animals were there. And it didn't even start out in my back garden, it started out in like some kind of woods type weird trees <laughs> situation and there were lots of different animals, like there was a tiger, there was a snake, there was a deer which got eaten, I think by the tiger or something and I was like really sad about it and had to look away because I didn't want to see it get eaten and there was a few other animals but I can't think what else was there. I'm feeling like an elephant but I don't remember seeing an elephant so I'm not really sure but there was lots of different animals there and when I came out of my dream I realised what that message was like you could look at it and think oh maybe she needs to get a pet or maybe like she's afraid of animals or maybe she wants to go on holiday and visit these kind of animals or something like you could take it literal but for me I realised based upon how I was like searching for these animals in the dreams, like they disappeared at one point and I tried to find them and then I realised that they were just the other side of the fence and the gate, they'd gone out the gate to play or something and um, I went out the gate and realised that they were there and then I was like, oh, thank God, like they haven't run away. So for me, I realised that this is talking about different aspects of my own mind or my own personality because if you know anything about um what's it called like animal interpretation I don't know what the actual phrase is I can't think of it but um oh, it almost came to me then and then it went <laughs> but is it totem oh fuck I can't think what it is but anyway 
when um, you look at like what certain animals mean in your dreams and things like that, they show up for a reason and I've realised that this is showing me aspects of my personality because snakes are associated with kundalini energy, like it's a snake or serpent going up the spine which is your life force energy and what you activate in order to awaken consciously and expand your mind and access higher levels of thought. So I realised when I looked at all of these different types of animals, there's um, the tiger which I have a Leo moon and tigers and lions are very much associated with Leo and courage or courage being courageous and shining bright like being yourself you know so I realized that all of these animals were showing up for a reason because they're showing me parts of my own personality and also the deer dying for some reason I hear the word fear when I think of deer you know like it's a pretty close word so I view that as like the aspect of me that's scared the aspect of me that um is courageous or prideful or like um wanting to be seen wanting to be heard and then the aspect of me that's trying to reach higher levels of thought you know like there's different archetypes that showed up in my dream as animals and the more practice you put in trying to decode what the message is, paying attention to how you feel in the dream because that definitely matters, it, the easier it becomes to understand what your dreams are trying to tell you. But it's not literal. I mean, it probably could be literal. Like, if you needed to know that you should reach out to someone, maybe you will have a dream where you reach out to them. Like, it could well be, be literal in some cases, but... I also feel like it's important to look deeper than that because it could mean a number of different things and you may just get one image of it or one message or one dream but it could have multiple layers to it where you can interpret it in so many ways and however you come up with your interpretation like however you perceive your dream to be it is that because there's no right or wrong and so maybe that's the message that you need for right now because that's how you've interpreted it and then maybe in a few months time you might look a little bit deeper and discover an even deeper meaning to what your dream was trying to say and that will be right too every angle that you look at it is correct and it can never be wrong because it's your own dream your own mind your own interpretation and it really doesn't matter whether you perceive it to be right or wrong it just is what it is you know so i hope this video was helpful and explains a little bit more about decoding dreams and the fact that there is so many ways to interpret it and you just have to kind of trust yourself and trust how you felt in the dream and then also trust how you feel when you wake up because sometimes when you immediately wake up out of the sleep that you were just having like you can kind of feel something like especially if you tune in straight away you can feel that emotion kind of carry over when you wake up sometimes so oftentimes the message and the interpretation is right there for you to open yourself to as soon as you wake up and then as you go about your day it might fade away so it's really important to pay attention to it first thing in the morning and maybe journal it or voice note it or some some way of recording it just so that you have it if you want to refer back to it but yeah i hope that this video and audio on the podcast apps was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching i really appreciate you don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time i upload and also all links about me like my social media my music my phone number elemental mirror which is my jewelry this is my necklace that i'm wearing everything else about me is in the description box below and i will see you in next week's video Bye. You could say I